This time on Low Boost, we're getting rid of these chrome grills on our G30 540i. Everybody's got their own preference and uh, a lot of people like the chrome grills in the front. I personally like the black ones. I have black ones on my M235 and I just think it makes the car look better. Now this 540i is not an M Sport. Ended up just getting the regular model. Um, you know, I would have liked the M Sport. Maybe I'll put the M Sport bumper on in the future, but this, we got a really good deal on it. So we really couldn't argue with, uh, with the price we paid. So but I got black grills. I got them on Amazon. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Um, this box is huge. Uh, Amazon did a really good job of making sure these things don't get jacked up. And they packed it up well. Let's take a look. So the first thing I have to do, we got to pop the hood. Double tap. All right, now with the hood open, you see our lovely B58 motor, nice and clean. There's these tabs right here, here, and there. All right, so what I'm doing is I have, with the hood open, I have my screwdriver. I'm just gonna push this down, this one here, and that one there, and to slowly kind of work our way out as we pull this out. With some massaging, we were able to get the top ones out, but as you can see, there's three on the bottom. I'm just lining them up like this so I can really see where I'm going. So what I did next, once these were popped out, you kind of slowly lift it and the grill should pop off. Take a second here, there. You see the clips pop off. And then when you put the new one on, you want to put these facing down like this first and slide it in. The key though is, to try not to mess with these, you don't need to touch these at all. These are designed to open and close, lightly clean up the area. It's pretty straight though. I mean, this car is, doesn't have a lot of miles on it, but then we put, you want to line up the tabs first going down onto it there, push it down. You want to push the tabs in there first and then line these puppies up to pop them back in. Once they're all lined up. You just want to be mindful, there is a tab down here. I'm gonna take this one off, I'll show you. Um, that you want to make sure that that is lined up perfectly before you shove these in. It is gonna take some elbow grease, so don't feel bad about it. But once you have all the sides and the bottom lined up, you can just pop it right back in. And you can see, you can give me your opinion on what you guys think, but uh, I like the black better. I like the black a lot better. Shame on me for breaking my camera mount, but that's how that comes out. And then pops off and it comes up. Boom. I know it sounds like it broke, but it didn't. It comes off easy. Again, so you wanna line up, you make sure you have your tabs lined up there and over here. And you line them up down here before you smash it on. Try to show you guys, if you see this little arm right here, that, this here, there, that's that hole there. You wanna make sure that the unit is this way. That's it there. You wanna make sure it's pointing, not pointing, but further this way when you push it in, cause that's where it has to line up with that little hole there. Make sure you have all your tabs in, and then go ahead and shove it on. Boom, it's on. 
is your first time checking out Low Boost Films, consider subscribing. I have a BMW E36 Turbo LS swap that I work on. Got a ton of videos on that. Ford Mustang uh, from 1966. Bunch of videos on my old M235 that was an M55 motor. And now I'll be doing videos on the new uh, BMW 540i, the G30 we just picked up. I also have a C5 Corvette that's a track car and I'm building a 1953 Ford F100 pickup truck with my dad. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're into these kind of cars. I put the chrome ones back in the box. I mean, they work. So I'm just gonna hang on to them, keep them nice in that box unless, you know, until somebody wants them or if I sell the car. So, but these were great. These are a steal on Amazon. I mean, you're, this is OEM quality, really good shape. Goes on just how it's supposed to. Looks so much better. I love the black. Um, I got them for, they were 79 bucks or 78 bucks shipped on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in this, I'll put a link to it in the description below. And uh, I'll probably be doing some other aesthetic stuff too. Nothing crazy, gonna do some mods. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're interested in checking on seeing what I'm gonna do to this car. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.